Good morning folks, it's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar and we are doing a uh, small battery system today. The big boss Hello, folks. with an inverter delivery in the frigid cold. Oh so typically we do a lot bigger systems and obviously we supply, oh. do not lose that inverter. Oh, I don't know if it'll fit through there. I think it's from AEE, oh. look. If it is from AEE. Easy. Yeah, so this is a pre-wired magnum we're gonna be installing. These cost oh. about uh, $5,000. And typically we like to install, furnish our own equipment and install our own systems. But from time to time, people buy their own equipment. And I don't know why, but our next three jobs, people have bought their own equipment and we're just gonna be doing the install for us. So we're not gonna hate you if you buy your own equipment, but it's still gonna cost the same amount of money. It's probably gonna end up costing more because instead of letting the installer the guy that's going to be putting all your equipment in, instead of letting him make the money on the equipment, you're letting a middleman or some company that just sells equipment make the money. And they're not really going to be there to install it. They might not even be there after the sale. Whereas, we are going to be there. So my uh, best advice to you guys on YouTube is that if you're going to do your own install and you want to buy your own equipment, that's great. And we'd prefer that you buy it from us because we'll give you a better price than anybody on the internet. But if you're not going to do your own install, let the installer furnish the equipment. There's a lot less head scratching, and at the end of the day, it'll be cheaper and you'll get a longer guarantee. So we're going to be installing this pre-wired Magnum but in it's eight a Chevy. panels yeah, it's a Chevy. on this barn roof. It's a gambrel, so there's, it's kind of difficult to do. But basically, we're going to have a we got a five-foot section, and then there's going to be seven-foot rails going all the way across with two rows of panels. Right now, Antonio and uh, Abraham running in the quick bolts. So now we got the midnight magnum panel hung on the wall. The batteries are on the floor. And um, there's nothing wrong with the pre wired midnight magnum setups except if you'd like to have room to work. There's not a lot of room in here. This is a ETL listed enclosure. This is a pre wired power center. I do like Magnum's bigger power center. Magnum, the MMP panels, you've seen lots of videos probably of mine. I like the panels better. There's the Magnum inverter. There's Midnight's sheet metal. And all the breakers are over on the side. Uh, see what we're doing up here? How about that Everest cross rail? Oh. So this is that Everest, and it is kind of a mixture between a channel rail and a T-bolt rail. There's the, where the T-bolt track is. There's where the That's channel is. You can see what these guys are doing. They're going to plane them all out. And uh, things are looking good. So when I first started installing, if anybody wanted one of these put in, I would jump all over it just because I wanted to play, practice. There's the what you have. And then there's all the stuff inside. So like things you might not know, that's a shunt, nothing's hooked up. That's a midnight, uh, midnight uh, whiz bang junior. That little thing bolted onto the bottom of the shunt. It reads the shunt so that the charge controller knows what's going on and knows how many amps going in. This is the big battery breaker. That's where the positive lands on the bottom of the battery breaker. The negative lands on one side of the shunt. Everything else lands on the other side of the shunt. These are AC breakers for your AC, all your AC bus bars. That's a PV positive input. These are the charge controller input breakers. There's where you can mount your PV input breakers. And so you would mount your strings from your solar panel here, and then you'd actually combine them all right there and come out. And then you'd go into the bottom of one of these breakers. Yeah, you can see it right here. This bottom of this PV input. So if you see, if you're looking at this, basically, you run all your PVs through some breakers that you put right here. They go into here, then the output of the breaker goes into here, ties into the back of this breaker, which goes into the PV input of the charge controller, and then the output of the charge controller comes from here, and they go down and go into the battery. And that's how it charges the battery. See, there's the output of one charge controller going up to the breaker 
and then go into the battery. And this is always fun. I have eight batteries. I got to figure out how to make these cables reach, and I got to combine and pair. I got four 24 volt strings, and I got a parallel four strings series eight batteries. So I'll series each group. And then that'll be 24 volts, and then I'll have to parallel all four banks. And I got to figure out how to do it with what they left here. So we got a weather head, and I'll show you that when we get back down. Yeah. And here's all our railing. So we've got our rail all attached. Abraham's done a great job. And Antonio. Looking good. Antonio, as always. As always. Killing it. El Torbo. Hey, let me see. So, it's a pretty straightforward install. What do you think about the Everest cross rail? <sighs> Not a fan. T bolts. No T -bolts. wire management. T bolts. Yeah. It's got a nice channel, but we're not using it, so. Stay with the UR40 snapping rack for now. That's our. <laughs> Very simple EMT conduit run. Strap, a little kick right. on it. I got it. I get it. And it's got two uh, two Don't PV wires. Oh. And the ground coming down. Close the door. We're going to lunch. Yeah, close, close it. Close it. Close it. <laughs> Don't let anything fall. Here, you got to really close it. <laughs> it you got to push on that part when you close it. <laughs> now while our job site location is undisclosed, the lunch location is not. Polish sausage. Yes, sir. I'll take it. That sausages. Sausages look pretty tasty. Oh, Lori's gonna shoot me. Samasa? Yes, please. Oh Thank my you. goodness. What do you think about what's going on here, boss? <laughs> Too excited to eat them. Antonio, are you scared? Lips yeah, smacking no. good. What are these dumpling things called? Pierogies. Oh my goodness. Cabbage rolls. Mmm. So we've got all the wire in place, all the grounding. Everything's ready to go. So when you go to mount panels, you don't want to be trying to fidget around. Panels are right there. Dedicated panel pusher. <laughs> he just knocked his coffee over. Not too happy. So yesterday, it was Polish. Today we're at the Greek place. It's looking pretty tasty. We are not. Huh? We are not prejudiced. No, we're not prejudiced at all. We have actually really enjoy this kind of food. Mm. You gonna buy you some pickled veggies? Donde esta la ensalada que dices tu? La ensalada buena? Que come ahora? El col. No, these aren't. These aren't. These are Greeks. They don't eat kraut. I don't think it's fermented. It might be fermented. Yeah, it is. Esto es lo que comimos ayer. Hey, Abe. Yes, sir. You know if they got any fermented cabbages over here? Yes, it is. I don't think it's fermented. I think it's vinagre. Oh, yes, vinagre. Is any no. of this fermented? No. no. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the... It might be pickled. I'm looking for the ferments. Ooh, those things are good. There's cherry peppers with cheese. This... On today's menu, we got some tasty fares. Mmm, mm. good Greek food. So I know this is a uh, solar channel, but what would work be without lunch? Be a sad day.